It wasn't actually Patriot Restoration of Newcastle that came forward to do the work they'd already been paid for, but another contractor in town that saw that story on TV and simply felt compelled to help. It really gets to me because my nerves are just completely shot over this. In October, Lisa Limeberry was in tears after being taken for $4,500. They said this was the worst part of it. Storm and hail damage engulfed her home and the mold was getting unmanageable. Thank you so much. Now, tears of joy. I just, I want to tear up because it's, I'm just so happy that my, my family is safe. <laughs> When Brian Caldall, owner of Caldall Home Improvements, and his wife Justine saw the story on Fox 59 about how another company had skipped out on the job, they wanted to let Lisa know there are still good people who do honest work. I said, that's awful. And he said, I could do that. That's a, that's a house I could do in a day. I said, do it. Would you? He said, absolutely. It really moved us that Lisa's story and how they had taken advantage of her. You can see all this, that's from hail. With winter weather looming, they contacted Lisa right away and fixed the damage for free that she'd already paid another company to do. And we had a brand new roof. Everything, decking and everything, brand new. But why would the Caldalls make this extra effort? Angels, absolute angels. It's an opportunity for us to just pass on what God has given us and hopefully they pass on whatever talent it is that they have to someone else. Brian said this year was good to his business and he was grateful for that. And I thought what a great opportunity to try to give back and help somebody. We can and it's, you know, we had the opportunity to do it. The whole thing put to rest Lisa's worst fear, that the water leakage in the home would make it unlivable right before the holidays. I want to thank you so, so much. If it hadn't been for you, they would not have seen this and we would have, um, we would have not been able to do much of anything for a long time. Lisa said while she's learned a lesson about doing more research before hiring someone, the call dolls have restored some of her trust in humanity. Oh, you guys are amazing, <laughs> amazing. You. Thank you so much. Oh, God, this feels so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. You know, the sad part about this is that there are still several families that say that they also paid Patriot Restoration of Newcastle but have nothing to show for it. Right now, the Attorney General's office is investigating. If and when they take formal action, we will let you know. I'm Jenny Anchando, Fox 59 News.